What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the last quarterfinal matchup in our BMF Grand Prix tournament. The winner of this one faces Nick Diaz. We have Anderson Silva going up against Yuel Romero. And you're probably wondering, what's going on in the minds of both of these fighters? A eh, big guy, huh? What are they thinking leading up into this fight? But don't worry, man, I got you because I spoke to both of these fighters. This is what Anderson Silva had to say as he's going to lead off talking about this fight. Well, for me, Ricky, I'm old, but uh, I come for fighting, you know, I come to throw a punch, you know, maybe a knee or two, but uh, you well good, but he don't come for fight, you know, he kind of dance like he's at a fat or some, you know, disco or something, but uh, hopefully he come to make a fight, but he's normal, he's normal, but he should change his name to Roy Romero because his neck no normal, his body, chest no normal, and bicep no normal. And for me, I tell you right now, I'm the best. <laughs> and this is what Romero had to say. This is what Romero had to say. Anderson, I know you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he had to say as we're leading up into this quarterfinal matchup. You know, it's so funny when you hear hear actually Yuel speak when he's in the arena. He has that raspy voice like, Oh, Mike, I know you. You know something. But um, when you hear him talk in an actual interview, his voice is um, totally different, which is kind of bizarre. But... It is what it is, man. Everybody has their own voice. Everybody has their own character, and especially Anderson Silva. You know, his voice obviously doesn't match his face. Even like Mike Tyson, you know, Mike Tyson's voice doesn't match his, you know, his face, his body figure. You know what I mean? But um, that's the beauty of uh, <laughs> of life, of sports, is that everybody has their own personality. But forget about all that. It's a battle of the old dogs. Holy cow! They should have a division in the UFC and call it like you know I don't know like the legends division and it's only for fighters that still want to fight that are 40 and up what are your thoughts on that I know it, mo it might not be the most high level division but I think it would create so much interest if they create yeah like a legends division you got to be at least 40 to be in that division that would be kind of cool but with this fight man you know we are dealing with two guys that just they hurt people let's be honest you well you know, I don't don't get me started on some of his finishes and uh, Anderson Silva. Same thing with him. The greatest Anderson Silva fight for me was the Forrest Griffin fight. And remember, I could have my timeline wrong, but um, he faced someone. It could have been Talis Latis, and they won. And that fight was so boring, something like that. And then the UFC wanted somebody that was actually going to um, push Anderson. So they threw out Forrest Griffin at him, and that was at light heavyweight. And I think, I don't know if I'm wrong with my timeline again, but I don't know if that was his first light heavyweight fight, or was that against um, Irwin? Was that his first light heavyweight fight? But anyway, he faced Forrest Griffin, and everybody thought Forrest Griffin was going to give him like the battle of his life. And Anderson Silva made a mockery of Forrest Griffin. It almost looked like it was staged, man. Just the way... Um, Forrest flopped at the end with that uh, it looked like it was a jab that kind of threw Forrest off and his whole equilibrium was kind of thrown off but leading up to that Anderson was hitting him with some great shots but if you have not seen Forrest Griffin versus Anderson Silva go check it out In my opinion it was the greatest finish as far as domination in UFC history but here we go the winner faces Nick Diaz oh my gosh Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been a fantastic tournament. And, you know, when you do a simulation tournament where you're not actually playing the game, we're actually just watching, you know, some people may not like that. But um, the majority of you uh, have jumped on board, and I'm so thankful that you're here with me. It's almost a good break from competitive fighting, and we can just sit back, relax, have some laughs, and um, enjoy a tournament. And thank you again for all of your support. But um, right now, it's kind of starting off slow. I like what Romero's doing, man. The AI Romero touching up the legs of Anderson, limiting his movement, limiting his speed. Oh, but he went down low and up high. Fantastic strategy. 
by Romero. And now he's bullying his way forward. Trying to go for the takedown. Good takedown defense by Anderson. And this is a great start for Romero. Do not forget, people. This is five rounds, man. This is not going to be, you know, a quick little three-round fight where um, we could have a controversial decision. We always want to make these fights five rounds so um, they have more time in the octagon. Great takedown defense by Anderson, but more time in the octagon, and more importantly, more time to get a finish because we don't want to have something where you know people say, like, oh, that split decision was a robbery, if you know what I mean. But um, this is a great start for Ribeiro, just grinding out Anderson. And is Anderson, oh, I was going to say, is Anderson going to be able to continue to deny those takedowns? And the ground and pound of Romero is deadly, man. He's got to be so careful. Anderson does. He's got to control that posture. Oh, my gosh. Are we going to have an early finish? Nice. Good job on getting full guard. Anderson's got the long limbs. Be careful, man. Anderson Silva's got some pretty decent submissions off of his back. And I always say it in real life and in this game, and he does. He's doing a nice job not just staying down there. You know, that main event the other day, Volkov and Blades, man. Volkov, you know, needs to have more of an active guard. Oh, nice try by Romero. Looked like he was going for a submission right there. Anderson Silva doing a, a good job denying it, but Anderson's stamina is way down. And Mario... <laughs> He's right on top of the action. Don't stop it earlier, Mario. Come on, brother. And also, don't do what Herb Dean did in the last video. If you missed it, Herb Dean decided to hop the fence and leave the fight as the fight was going on. And when that happened, Nick Diaz decided to, you know, kick Justin with an illegal kick. And it's kind of like in wrestling. When you get the chair out and there's no referee, you're not going to get disqualified. <laughs> but there's no disqualifications in this game. But like in Fight Night, remember Fight Night? You could actually hit somebody to the groin and they give you like one warning and then they'll take a point away. If you do it again, you lose the fight. Wouldn't that be cool in this game? If you could hit up your opponent with uh, an illegal shot. But then that's kind of promoting dirty fighting. But it would add to the humor of the game. But um, I hate to get sidetracked here. Romero with a fantastic round, man. Just a grinder. He is. And it all started off with... You know, going with those leg kicks, going with those leg kicks, and then sneaking up up high with that beautiful head kick. And then he used his fantastic wrestling, clinching ability, and wore down Anderson Silva. Anderson Silva, I don't even think, you know, he hit Romero with any significant strikes in that whole round. So let's see if Anderson could come back here. And typically these... Oh, nice flying knee! These pressure fighters that Romero, the, the style that Romero is putting on here is, is hard to deal with, with the length of Anderson. Oh my gosh. Anderson is rocked. Like, you know when you face like an Anderson Silva or a Thompson, trying to pressure them sometimes does wonders, but if you're dealing with a guy that's good at spacing, it's a different story. But nice job by Anderson on striking right back. This is a... Crazy, crazy chess match right here. And look at this, Romero not taking any chances. What a smart AI player. Deciding to go with the safe route and go with the, the takedowns. And um, I'm, I'm in like story mode today. You know, I've always been a GSP fan and been a huge GSP fan as Anderson Silva gets the mount right here. And I used to get so angry when my boys would always say, yo, Ricky, your favorite fighter is George Safe Pierre, just because GSP loved to take the fight to the ground. But anyway, you got to win the fight, man. You got to win the fight. You got to find the best avenue that's going to steer you to victory. But Anderson Silva in this fight always seems to be in the worst position. Nice. And then he just made me eat my own words. But he just seemed, he just can't seem to get comfortable in this fight. Romero pushes him off. And um, even though this is a pretty even round, the stamina game is with Romero. You know, his head health has to be a little bit on the uh, healthier side than Anderson. Oh, my gosh. Anderson Silva needs to block his head, man. He can't. Didn't he learn from when he fought Weidman? Oh, nice duck under and a shot to the booty. Did you see that? <laughs> he gave him a nice shot to the booty, forcing Romero to jog away. 
Oh my gosh. The heat on Romero's punches are just fantastic. Scary stuff. But I like what the AI is doing. The Anderson AI, I was going to say, just keeping himself in kicking distance. And he's doing that. And he hit him up with a great shot. Romero aborts the takedown. Oh, nice leg chop by Anderson Silva. This is a great seesaw battle, isn't it? Holy smokes, what a grinding type of fight, though. Just nobody seems to be comfortable in the fight. Nobody's, uh, you know, dancing around, creating their distance, picking their spots. This is more of, uh, you know, a, a really tough, tough championship fight, in my opinion. Even though it's not for a champion championship belt here, but it just seems like both guys are really going after it. And um, this, this is, it's crazy how the stamina game has shifted to Anderson Silva's side. Just by a little bit, you know. But it seemed like Romero had a significant stamina advantage in the beginning of this round. And um, things have changed. And it's 1-1 in my opinion. Kudos to Mr. Anderson. That's my da Silva. For coming back after that lackluster first round. Fantastic job. And the beauty is we still have three more rounds. I don't know if it's going to go all five rounds. I don't think a fight in this tournament has gone five rounds. Like, I know we've hit five rounds with some fights, but there has been no decision, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. And that's a good thing, man. That's a good thing because I don't want to see, you know, a split decision or a, a really close fight. I want to see finishes, and hopefully you do as well. So here we go. Let's see what happens. Let's see if Romero can turn the tables, you know? Can he show Anderson Silva that, you know what, you're not gonna be running away? Oh, and he goes with the spinning back fist. And he rolled, he rolled the dice right there, and he did it well, man, he did it well, because that's really gonna tax Silva's head health, man, it really is. And I'm looking at the stamina, Silva didn't, has a no, oh my gosh, and he drops him, but Silva re recovered pretty well when he was on the stool with his boys. But look at this, Anderson now winning this round, dropping Romero. And that's kind of surprising. And this is what Romero needs to do, man. Cut the you-know-what and just grind. You know, look at this. Gets the mount. Smart fighting. And I know some of you were saying, like, the EA Sports AI is not the smartest, but it's been pretty smart throughout the course of this tournament showcasing some fantastic decision making and look at this the th oh great arm trap by Anderson but Anderson needs to get out of this position fantastic denials by Romero and Anderson Silva man he's in <laughs> he's in some deep waters here isn't he <laughs> oh my gosh oh uh, that can oh going with the double <laughs> the double punch <laughs> That's crazy because you could lose your balance. Now, if you're in this position in in, in the game, R2 and whichever arm your uh, opponent's punching you, you could buck them off. But Anderson Silva is in deep trouble right here. He just can't seem to shake off Romero. Oh, and Romero opting to get at a mount to go to side control, but this is what he wanted. He wanted the good old crucifix position, gets the denial. Oh, my gosh. Nice job by Anderson, arm trapping him to get away, but he's still in this terrible position. And respect to Romero for battling back after getting dropped and then utilizing his beautiful wrestling ability and, and just the strength of Romero. It's so hard for Anderson. Anderson's the leaner fighter. It's harder for him to get him off. And Silva's in trouble. His head health is flashing. Oh, my gosh. He has no stamina. Oh, man. And at home now, I'm, no I'm now standing up with my microphone. That's how crazy I am. I'm a pretty crazy guy, man. I'm a pretty crazy guy. And I'm standing up. I'm into this fight. And this fight looks to be pretty much done. One more shot and it's over. Oh, what did Romero do right there? Literally, oh, he deciding to go with north-south in a submission here. But literally, he had one more shot, and Anderson would have been nighty-night. But he's deciding to go for a nice submission, a north-south choke right here. And Anderson looks done. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We got seven seconds. Is he going to get saved by the bell? Is it over? Oh! Anderson Silva's favorite TV show, ladies and gentlemen. Say it with me. Save by the bell.
<laughs> Screech, Zach, Kelly. Oh my gosh. Anderson Silva gets saved by the bell right there. Look at that. If the round lasted maybe one or two more seconds, it would have been over. And where is Anderson Silva right now? He doesn't know where he is. Is he on Earth? Is he on Mars? Is he on Jupiter? Can you live on Jupiter? I don't know about that, man. But um, how battered and bruised is Anderson Silva here? And I'm telling you, we are in some crazy territory. These are the grueling rounds, and I know people call it the deep waters. This is it. Both guys, as Goldberg would say, remember? Um, what did he say? Battered, bruised, but not beaten. The triple B. <laughs> but both guys are, are hurt. You know, I think Anderson's actually in, in worse shape, to be honest. Every time Romero hits him up with a shot, look at that top left, brother. Top left. That head health is flashing. Anderson's still throwing, though. Showing the heart of a champion, really. Showing the heart of a champion. You know that guy. I don't know which fighter it was the other night, man. I kind of felt for him that just couldn't fight. He wanted to quit it, and his corner was trying to, you know, convince him to carry on. And Anderson Silva's the type. He's, he's going to carry on until he's shut off, man. Same with Romero. What heart by both of these fighters. And hopefully you're enjoying this. Deep into this fight, fourth round, Romero looking tired. Anderson, oh, Anderson had an opportunity, kind of let it slip away there. Nice, oh my gosh. Anderson Silva with the flying knee, turning back the clock. And this is great for Silva, but great denials by Romero. Anderson's got to watch out for that stamina though. Is Romero going to go for another submission? I'm telling you, when it's on the mat, it's anyone's fight right here. Romero's got an opportunity. Is he going to flip him? Oh, he is. Decides not to go for a submission. I don't even know if Romero has a submission game in that position where he arms trap traps him off of his back. Maybe he does, but decides to go for some ground and pound, and that's a good decision just because Anderson's head health is pretty much done. What a crazy fight, man. This is nuts. And Anderson, oh, look at this. Anderson's first submission attempt of the fight. Going for a nice little classic arm bar off of his back. He's got two gates. He's got tons of time, man. He's got tons of time. This is only a four gator. One more. Could it be over? It's over. Oh, my gosh. Anderson Silva. Take it into deep waters and says, you know what? I can tread water, Ricky. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't drown man it looked like he was gonna drown there but what a fight grueling grueling matchup holy smokes props to the AI Romero for almost having it geez taking it back to that previous round if he just stayed on the mat throwing punches instead of going for that north-south choke the fight would have been done but he thought trying to choke out Anderson was gonna be the best but he forgot about the time remaining and good old save by the bell action Saved Anderson Silva. Now we have the semifinals all ready to go. It's Nate Diaz going up against McGregor. And it's Anderson Silva going up against Nick Diaz. Crazy, crazy stuff. The final four will be here for you on Ricky J Sports. Give me a few days, man. And we will get the first semifinal for you guys. Thanks again, as always, for your support. And have a fantastic day. And you are awesome. I'm out of here, baby.